Okay, this is finding the half-life or doubling time. So it says a radioactive substance decays according to the following function where y sub zero, means subscript zero, is the initial amount. So instead of using p, they used this variable y sub zero um, is the initial amount present and y is the amount present at time t. So instead of using a, they just used y. So basically the a is y and the p is y sub zero. Um, t is still t time. It says find the half-life of this substance round to the nearest tenth. Half-life means that the amount afterward is going to be half of what you started with, which is the initial amount. And so then if I divide both sides by that initial amount, it'll cancel there and you get 0.5 times e to the negative 0.72t. Now, I've been taking the ln of both sides and then dividing it out. Just to give you another perspective, you can change this into its logarithmic form. So you would have log base e, um, the base stays the same, and then these guys switch sides. So this will not be on the same side as e anymore. The 0 0.5 will be on the same side as the e. And remember, logs equal the exponent. So now the exponent is over here. And so remember, log, ba log base e is just ln. And so now you have this equation to solve. And so all I have to do is divide by the negative 0 0.072. And then you get t equal to whatever that is. So on ln of 0 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.072 and we get that t is 9.627. It's rounded to the nearest tenth, so the two is not going to change the six, so it's just 9.6. Now the next example says, the amount of money invested in a certain account increases according to the following function. <coughs> Excuse me, where y sub zero is the initial amount, so again, y sub zero is in place of the p, and y is the amount present at time t, which means y is in the place of the variable a. It says, after how many years will the initial investment double? So that means that this amount afterward would be twice what we started with. And then if I divide both sides by that coefficient of the exponential, I get that 2 equals e to the 0.0175t. If you change the forms over into its exponential, it's log base e. This would be my argument, and then the exponent goes on the other side because a log is equal to an exponent. And then I would just, this is just ln of 2, and then I would divide by that decimal to figure out what t is. So what do I get for t? I get ln of 2 over 0.0175 t is actually equal to 39.6 because it wants me to round to the 10th. And so that's it for there.